Okay class, so I've had you join this site and I've already shown you how to log in. So now I want to show you how to find and decide on a condition of either the respiratory or digestive system. And then I'm going to show you how to email me which condition you decide on that you're going to do your research paper on. So when you log in, this is the home main page. The default page is the skeleton that you're going to find. So you're either going to choose the digestive system or go down here to the respiratory system. Those are the two systems we've been talking about and the effects on your body. So you have two options here. You can click the little slider and it's going to light up the parts of the digestive system in your skeleton. But I want you to actually click on the word digestive system or respiratory system and you're going to see that it brings it in closer to you, um, gives you lots of information which will be good on for your research over here for you to look up some common conditions. There's information here and if you click the read more button which will show on each one of them, a whole new screen will pop up that gives you so much more information. So there are even drop downs on it that you can click on and get even more information. So there's a lot to look at here. So once you've chosen your system and you've decided, yes, you want to work on the digestive system or the respiratory system, I want you to go up here to the button that says conditions. Looks like a little stethoscope there. So you're going to click on conditions. And there are a ton of conditions here, but we're going to find, look under digestive system, because that's where we are, and it'll show me just conditions in the digestive system. So you will look through here and just look for something that looks maybe interesting to you, um, something maybe you know a family member has had or that you've heard of um, or that you just want to know more about. So... It can be anything simple from here's digestive diseases um, to um, esophagitis. Um, there's all kinds of things here. This is like acid reflux. So you want to look through here. Here's gas, something everyone experiences. So heartburn. So just scroll through here and find something that you decide is interesting or you might want to know more about. And then when you run the mouse over it, it just highlights it. So I want you to click on it. Just one click. When you click on it, it's going to bring you up to a closer view of the organs that um, that particular condition relates to. And it pulls you up a little box over here to the right that has all the information on that condition that you can read. And notice that there's a bar over here, which means there is more to scroll through. So you either need to use the roller on your mouse or if you have a pad use your fingers up and down to scroll through that and make sure you read it all. If it's something that sounds interesting you to you and you decide this is what you want to do your further research on, I want you to do two things. So once you've picked your condition, I want you to go down here and I want you to click the star Notice when I hover over it, it says add to my human library. This is going to save it in your library so that the next time you log in, it's already saved under my human and it'll be there for you to just pull up and you don't have to go find it again. So we're going to click that star. All you have to do is click it and you can see it makes it uh, yellow or gold. So now you know that you've starred that one. So now that it's saved, under your human for the next time you sign in. The other thing I want you to do is go down to this arrow and it says share this. So you're going to click on that and it brings you up several different links here. Now I know that some of you recognize this Twitter and Facebook, um, Google, but what you're going to do is click on the envelope. That's the second choice and if you hover over it it says email. If you click the email option it brings up a very simple email page. It gives the topic up here. You'll just type in my email address that I have on the board for you. And it will 
attach everything and put everything in here that you have pulled up so I can see what you've chosen and a link to this actual picture of what you've chosen for your condition. And you will just hit send and it will send me an email from you with the condition attached that you've chosen. And once I reply to you that you're free to go ahead, you can continue on with your research. Now, I just want to go back over here. So let's say I, I think that heartburn's interesting, but I'm maybe I want to do respiratory. Maybe I don't want to do digestive tract. I've looked at these and nothing's really standing out to me. So I think I'm going to try respiratory. So you're going to need to go back up here to anatomy, pick respiratory system. As you can see, it comes up with the respiratory system. More information over here to read about again. Don't forget to click the read more. And if you go to conditions, you'll need to choose, you have to scroll all the way up. You'll need to choose, let's hide this one. Um, respiratory system, which I believe in here is lungs and breathing. You'll click it and it, it tells you there's 37 of them. So you'll scroll through all 37 conditions and you can just pull different ones up and read about them. Decide if that's for you, what you want to explain. Just pull different ones up. And then once you've decided on it, like I said, once again, make sure that you add it to your human library. And you go down to the arrow and click share this and share the link with or share the information with me on which one you have chosen. I should only get one email from each of you with your chosen condition. So do not do this email portion until you have chosen the condition you are going to stick with for your research. So anatomy, digestive system or respiratory system, conditions, you have to be at the top of conditions and you can just click once you want to expand it, you just click it or unclick it to expand it. So your choices are lungs and breathing or digestive system here. So you're going to pick it, pick the condition that you decide is what you want to do your report on after you read about it and study about it a little bit. And then just make sure you add it to your human library and that you send me the email. And you will be all set. Once I respond to you, you will be good to go.